right now that we have our github account opened up we are ready to start working with our choice of a repository and I'm going to choose a classic press which is a new um, software I would say but it's uh, coming as a fork from uh, what WordPress was so it's a great example and a great example for us to, to, to find and contribute to. When I look for classic press across github uh, you'll find that there are a number of users and when I click that I'll be able to see classic press coming up as a, a, as a user and a repository of its own. Uh, that's where classic press is being developed but I want to do deal with something that is probably even uh, smaller and that is um, classic press has some plugins they're researching on and they want to do and remake so um, there's something called a classic commerce and that's what I think I will be diving into today but whichever way you use a classic uh, you use github uh, or git it will allow us to contribute to any project now one of the things that are big is a forking of, uh, of repositories what this allows you once you click that fork button it allows you to have a copy of the code that has been going on in your own private space as a user account so once you click that button to fork the project you'll get everything I mean everything into your your space or your user account so once you click it you can see right now that I have my own version of that software but it's as current as should be so we have the documentation we have the readme files and everything forked over into my repository with the same name 